Good morning. This week's tip uh, is a little cold. Let's just say it's freezing out here. Yesterday was minus uh, 9 Celsius. Today it's minus 6 this morning. Going to warm up to a balmy minus 2. And we're out here fishing walleye uh, on the St. Lawrence River. But one thing I think we could talk about this week is the technology today that's happening in mapping. You know, I've been using maps for a long time, charts, uh, you know, plug-in chip charts, and they're good. And they give you a great sense of where you gotta go, but sometimes the fine tuning, you know, the devil is in the details. And uh, this week I've been using AutoChart Live and really dialing in the spot within the spot. So I wanna show you how to do that. Here's my hummingbird chart, and basically what we're gonna do is go to AutoChart Live. So if you go to menu, down to the bottom right here, you see AutoChart Live, and you turn it on. And what you're gonna notice happening right away is it's gonna start, as I idle over stuff, it's gonna start building an actual map. And you can see the area that I've been fishing, okay, by my trail line. It will actually do this up until probably about 35 miles an hour I've been able to do this. And it's gonna start creating these contour lines. And you can select whether you want them one foot, two foot, three foot. You can select your range. Very easy to do. But you're gonna get a very concise picture of what the bottom looks like, which is super important when we're fishing in areas like this. You can see here, we're coming up on a hump. It doesn't show that hump. It says we're in three feet of water on the, on the actual chip. But in reality, we were in 22 feet of water, coming up to 10, now going back down. So very important for me to know what these areas are full of, what the contours are, because we're, it's, a, it's the fall time, we're fishing walleye and smallmouth. They're looking for slower water with weed next to them on drop-offs. And this is how I'm gonna have an advantage over everybody else out here because I have a built-in map for myself. The nice thing is when you're, once you build your map, you can actually start to see where you catch fish. And you can see here, you see lead-ins. Deep water meets shallow. And it really takes the guesswork out of what you're doing. So quick features about the Auto Chart Live. If I go to my menu, things you wanna have as settings, make sure it's visible. Your transparency, put it at about 10. If you want to see both the underlying map and the overlying map, you can set it at like 50. And you can see how it fades away and you can see the under map. I don't want to see it. I want to see the actual footage. So I set it up here to about 10 or 20. Contour lines visible. I've got my intervals set at two feet. Minimum range is zero. Maximum range at 50 feet because that's what I'm targeting. The nice thing is when you're uh, using your internal eight hours of recording for Auto Chart Live, what you will find is that it will record up to eight hours, but once you put a zero line card in there, you can transfer the data to the zero line card, then erase it and start over with another eight hours. Uh, so what you wanna do is get a zero line card. It'll give you years worth of uh, mapping and you can have your own maps. The great thing is no need to upload. Uh, they stay on your unit, they're yours. You can share them amongst your friends. You can get a couple guys together, break down water really quick and then put everything together. So very very cool from hummingbird the auto chart live and i'm telling you this week it's making a huge difference for us so that's our tip for the week hopefully this helps you guys out if you haven't tried mapping your own and you have a lake that has no hydrographic chart or you're fishing an area that you believe you need to find the fine details of check out auto chart live it's going to save you a lot of time and catch you a ton of fish take it easy guys